Hi everyone, my name is Jose Garza and I'm the museum educator at the Contemporary Art Museum in St. Louis. I am joined today by Sarah Paulson, one of the artists who was featured in the 2018 Great Rivers Biennial. And I'm going to ask her 18 questions. What's the first thing you do each morning? The first thing I do is my baby Rainier wakes me up and we spend some kind of slow time together waking up. Are you doing any work from home? Yeah, my studio is at my house. And so I am mostly working um, during his naps and at nighttime. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed around midnight. I'm pretty solid about getting evening hours to myself. So I'm usually listening to music and doing some art downstairs. What is the music you listened to most recently? All right, so right now I'm making a pandemic playlist of all the things that are uplifting me. So it has like Stereo Lab and Nina Simone and um, it has some music from Ethiopia. It has some Alice Coltrane. So I think the, the themes are like environment, letting go and rebuilding. Do you have a favorite uh, music album? My favorite music album is Astral Weeks by Van Morrison. I got into that when I was 20 and it has been timeless. I walked down the aisle to one of those songs when I got married. And to me, it has the mood of like spring, spring rain. What are you currently reading? I'm currently reading Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Uh, she's a Native American woman from the US that is talking about sort of um, her connection to the environment and people. And it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful read on like culture and our sort of innate relationship to the environment that we might have forgotten as people. What is your favorite food to order from a local restaurant? I love Bon Miso, number one, the best spring rolls in town. It's down the street from me. They are currently still closed, so I can't wait for them to reopen. Have you picked up any new hobbies? I have, I have delved more deeply into gardening. I used to just like buy a plant and just kind of put it in the ground. And this year I've, I'm a lot more intentional. I'm trying to start a butterfly garden to help the monarchs as they're flying. And I also have started a, a vegetable garden more officially where I'm actually like preparing the earth and noting everything growing versus my sort of earlier kind of casual, this is in the dirt, let's see what happens. So. <laughs> What is your favorite exhibition that you've seen in St. Louis? Uh, one exhibit that really stood out to me was uh, the Jeremy Deller exhibit at CAM. That, that exhibit happened um, in a time period where I was working with doing community parades and it was really exciting to see somebody that was thinking a lot, I think, in, about social practice, engagement, performance, making artifacts that were then utilized or artifacts that had been utilized as part of some sort of protest and then became art objects. I think he expanded my notion of um, what is art. Three artists, living or dead, that you would like to share your studio with. Okay, so it's um, William Kentridge, because I would love to learn animation from him. And Alice Neal, because I think she would be a great storyteller and she would bring interesting people over. And um, Faith Pebbly, she's, she's another woman, female animator that I think I would just learn a lot of techniques and she was also interested in mythology. So I, I think she would, she would be able to point me in directions of things to learn, so. How old were you when you knew you wanted to be an artist? Uh, I was always making things since I was a kid and I didn't really know of the idea of artist as a, a job. 
And then when I was in high school, my one of my teachers said, why don't you study art? And I was like, I don't know. And in college, I took some art classes and had some teachers that really encouraged me. And I think from then on, I sort of took myself seriously. So it's probably been, you know, 20 some years ago. Who is your favorite local artist? Um, I don't really, I don't really, everybody's my favorite local, but I, I will say that since being a mother, I really appreciate some of the things that the women of, of Yayo Arts and Gaia were doing. Dale Chambers, Chinure Ote, uh, Gina Martinez, um, many, many more, but just, just thinking in terms of like what it means to be a woman, a parent, and an artist, and how to build community and support each other's practices. I think having, I, I'm like, I'm becoming more interested in having structures that encourage us to continue making art and, and that being a work in and of its own, so. What's the most significant change in your life now that we're homebound? Hmm. Um, I think that I'm a very social person, so having to be my, myself this much is, is hard. And so me, I've been meditating a lot, and that is really what helps me stay balanced and centered. And I think because of the pandemic, I like I have no excuse not to. So I've just I've just been learning a lot about myself and accepting myself, accepting others as they are with that practice. What message do you want to send your future post-COVID self? Mm. I think that this time of slowing down and being with myself and um, sort of witnessing what is happening with, with capitalism, surrendering to it, going with the flow, that this all has like meaning and learning in it and that I should, I should have enjoyed it. I should have found joy every day and not been afraid. Who do you FaceTime with the most during quarantine? So I don't FaceTime a lot, but I do um, nightly or daily send a text to my good friend, Lindsay, and we just sort of like recap what our day was like and what we, what we learned and what we're struggling with. So that's a really special friendship. What is your hidden talent? All right, so my hidden talent is, is walking. I'm, I'm excellent at walking because I'm, I'm committed, I'm in it. Like I will not complain, I can walk for hours. I've spent a lot of time considering like the, the philosophy behind walking. To me, it's meditation. It's about the idea of like, taking in information and visuals, almost like a flaneur. So it's, it's um, yeah, walking. I just really appreciate that practice. That's such a great answer. <laughs> I think it's gonna make me think about walking a lot differently now. <laughs> Thank you. If a movie was made about you, who would you want to play you? Yeah, um, so I like the comedian actress, Jenny Slate, I think she's, She's funny and she's weird and she's kind of uncomfortable. I feel like she could definitely sort of get like the edges of my life, so. And last but not least, what St. Louis spot are you most excited to visit post COVID? Uh, well, I'm a swimmer, so it's the swimming pool. Uh, Sarah, it was really great to see you, and thank you for joining us for 18 Questions. Thank you.